Remember me? The Pixel 4 XL from Google in 2021. Let's do this. What's up, party people? Android Stud here, and I have the good old Google Pixel 4 XL in 2021. Now, how do we feel about this device 18 months later since its release in October 2019? When this phone came out, I wouldn't say it's controversial, but little there were things about the device that people didn't like. This most likely till now is the last fla real flagship that Google had because since the Pixel 4 XL, they released the Pixel 4a, which was a $350 phone that was awesome. That was a good phone. For 350, what you were getting in the Pixel 4a, next level, top notch specs. Well, not top notch specs, but you're great. You're getting a great bang for your buck. Then they came out with the Pixel 5, a lower Snapdragon, not terrible, but a little lower. And then they had the Pixel 4a 5G, which was a little bigger than the Pixel 4a with 5G, so you're able to have that. Now, this phone, the three things that I'll say about it, it's got fantastic cameras, has dual cameras on the back. It's got great performance. It has the Snapdragon 855, and it's got excellent build quality with Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back. A lot of people say the design is kind of boring. I think it's kind of, I like Pixel's design. I like their software. I like their look. I like how things are a little bit, they're not, they're not Victoria's Secret like Samsung and they're not like bougie like an iPhone, you know what I mean? So these, the Pixel I think kind of is that in between where they're kind of that materialistic design that is kind of clean. Boring, yes, I agree, but sometimes boring is, is cool. You know what I mean? So now, when this came out, it was $899, $899. I thought it was a little too much for the phone. I thought at $749, they would have been at a better place uh, to sell this phone back when they released it. But right now, you can probably get this phone um, around 300 to 400 bucks, 450. Uh, depending on what size you get. Now this came out in the 64 and the 128 gigabyte version. So you have to realize what you are shopping for and what you're looking for. But if you look on Amazon or Macari or some of those other websites, you could pick up this device for a little cheaper. And it's a, it's a lot better deal than you would get at any other, uh, for any other, for the money that you're getting on this phone, it is incredible the value that you're getting if you get this for 300 bucks, 350, 400, because it's got great cameras, great performance, um, you know. But like I said, when it came out, it was expensive. It came out, they came out with the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL. This is the 4 XL, obviously, at 64 and 128. The Pixel 4 was a little cheaper, but still a little pricey. Now, this has a face unlock, so when you turn off your device, you just show your face and it unlocks automatically. Now, since the pandemic, that's kind of gone out of style. So there's no fingerprint reader like the Pixel 5 or the Pixel 4a 5G or the Pixel 4a or some other devices. Um, so that kind of is, but I love the face unlock on here because it works great and it works with a lot of my banking apps now. I, a lot of people getting their feelings about that. Bruh, chill. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's not an anti-COVID device because you don't have that fingerprint reader, but you could do the pin code or you could just slide your mask down. I don't know, man. Everybody gets their panties in a bunch about that kind of stuff, but I don't really see it. Now, the camera is absolutely phenomenal. Sure, it doesn't have as many features as a Samsung camera, but man, when this does take a picture, you hit a home run most of the time. You take pictures at people, pets, um, you name it. I mean, I have pictures of my dog. I mean, look at that. That's, those are empanadas 
That's an Argentinian like meat patty. And I'm telling you, I take some pictures in of my dog that are just incredible. So on a family, birthdays, whatever you want to call it, um, the the front facing camera has an eight megapixel uh, lens. Um, now they use the same Sony lens that they've had for the last three years. So, or so, maybe even longer than that. So they've got a formula with this lens that I don't think they wanna, they probably don't wanna play with, but they could upgrade the lens. I'm not sure if they're gonna have a, another flagship from Google. I'm hoping because I love this Pixel 4 XL because I love having the, 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 the latest Snapdragon. I love having great cameras. I love having this build on here where it has the Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back. I mean, the rear cameras, I mean, portrait is awesome on the portrait, on the rear cameras, and also on the front facing camera. I don't think anyone touches it. The rear cameras has that 12 megapixel uh, wide, like standard wide, it's not a wide angle, or it has the 16 megapixel telephoto. So when this came out, they said that people don't need a wide angle. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was just a mistake. That was just dumb. They would have put a wide angle on here, game over, game over. If this had three lenses on the back, it would have been, it's over because the quality, the software computation that Google does is bar none. No one does it. I mean, Samsung does it mostly with lenses and some computation, but, and Apple does their thing, but Google, it's all software, man. They're using a, three to four year old lens, so think about that. Um, video, they only do 4K 30 on the back rear cameras. Uh, front facing is only 1080p. Um, it has a good telephoto. Um, so I call this the mommy phone, because you know, if you wanna get close up to your kids, the, you know, this is the mommy phone. You know, when you see people out there and they wanna get close ups of stuff, they're always zooming in. Ultra wide is nice, I guess. Yeah, you need it, it'd been, it would've been good. Yeah, they should have had it on here, but I think ultra wide sometimes it's like it's like whipped cream, you know? Like, okay, you're at the beach, you wanna take a wide angle, kinda nice, you post it on Twitter and everybody's like, oh my God, you're at the beach. Yeah, I am. So, the display on here is really nice, 6.3 uh, quad HD display. Now, it doesn't get super bright outside, so that is the only downfall with this device. Um, but it's got good co colors, deep blacks, uh, very consistent uh, colors on here. So it's a low brightness. Now you get 90 hertz and you could force it all the time, <clears throat> Samsung. So think about that, man. Your build is good, your, your Snapdragon 855, Android 11, you're gonna get 12, you're gonna get 13, and you're gonna get 14 on this phone. And you're gonna get it first. So as far as updates, if you're, you're using an LG, come to Google, we got you, man. LG, they ain't gonna get no updates. Motorola ain't getting no updates. Uh, you know, come on, man, you know how it is. And if, you're, if it's too slow for you on Samsung's side, Google's got your back. You're gonna have the latest and greatest from Google. You're gonna get all the features, all the, new updates, this is always gonna be, and this thing runs like a champ, you know? Six gigabytes of RAM, 64 or 128, this is a 128, because I gotta have 128. I used to be able to do 64. I can't believe we used to use phones with eight gigabytes and 16 gigabytes of RAM, that is incredible. Now, battery, you get 3,700 milliamp battery on here, so you get, the battery on here is really good, because Android 11, I think, has uh, optimized it a little better. So hopefully with 12, it'll get better. So I get all day battery with this phone. Now, like any other phone, if you're rocking YouTube a lot or gaming a lot, the battery's gonna drain. But the wireless charging on here is, is pretty good. It's not as fast as some of the phones that came out in 2020. Um, you get fast charging, 18 watt on here. Um, and look, you, this comes in the white, comes in the black, and it comes in that also orange which is hard to find in the 128. But I, I like the white. The black isn't bad, it's more of a glossy. This is more of a matte, so you get that matte finish. Um, you also get the squeeze feature on here. Android stud. There it is. 
Android Studio. <laughs> Come on, man. I said Android stuff. Why are you going to try me like that? So um, let me see if I can find a uh, oh, stud finder. There you go. You can find me. Just use a stud finder. But um, IP68 dust and water resistant. You can go five feet of water for 30 minutes. I highly recommend it. Just kidding. Don't do that. If you want, it's on. Hey, man, it's up to you, man. All the views expressed in this video is solely of mine and me alone. Android stud. Um, there's no 5G on here. So if you're a five, if you're the 5G police and you got to have, you know, 999,000 megabytes down so you could download games and all kinds of good stuff off the Internet, then, hey, man, have at it. Um, I think LTE is fine. I turn off 5G on a lot of my 5G phones because it's non-existent where I'm at in South Florida. No headphone jack, you know, to keep up with the times. Um, stereo speakers. The speakers on here are absolutely um, phenomenal. I really do like the, the speakers on here. They are excellent. Um, Let's go into Homegirl, the Tails. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's turn it down a little bit. Skip the ad. I thought I skipped the ad. There you go. All right, let's talk about what's on my Galaxy S21 Ultra. Just a heads up, my layout isn't super unique or anything. The speakers on here are, I think, better than the, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I like the speakers on this phone. Uh, my wife uses this phone also full time. This is her her daily phone is a Pixel 4 XL, and she's always blaring her speakers. I'm like, honey, turn that down a little bit, man. You're killing it over there. But also has a Titan M security chip in it, so so your phone is secure. Also, if you're signing onto Google accounts, um, you have the chip in here, so that you're good to go, and you don't, nobody um, they'll have a harder time hacking you and taking over your stuff. But Listen, guys and girls, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, man. Leave a comment down below. Be part of the party, people. Let me know what you guys think of the Pixel 4 XL in 2021. I think it's still an excellent device, especially if you can get it for 300 bucks, 350 or even less than that uh, in good shape. <laughs> I have a hard time. Like, I wouldn't get that Samsung FE over this. No. No, 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 no. This phone is really good for the price right now. And I love how buttery smooth the software is. I love using a Pixel over the Samsung. I'm sorry, it's just, or over an Apple phone. It's just, Samsung, I feel like I'm running with a parachute. I know I always say that. But sometimes I do run with a parachute, and that's what I feel like. That's going to do it, man. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. Pixel 4 XL 2021. Peace, party people.